What is going on guys, it's DoFX and I'm here with a tutorial for you guys today and this was recommended by that great GFX guy if I'm not wrong and yeah he's there and he um, asked to do a tutorial so I'm making a tutorial for him and all you guys and yeah hopefully it will be to make something like this it's called Reaper X plugin and I'll just be making I'll be just be telling you how to make this with the settings I use and make it look pretty sweet um, so what you want to do is just go on Google and type in Reaper X if you spell it right <laughs> Reaper X plugin Cinema 4D you just want to go on to this from Code Workers and you just want to look and click the download here for your um, for your personal computer uh, so once you've done that you want to go into Cinema 4D and you obviously want to drag it into your plugins folder in your finder or documents and um, I'm just going to delete this for you guys so I can start afresh and I'm just going to click merge objects and merge a logo so I'm just going to go for the Darza one as I haven't been with I haven't uh, used the Darza one before and let me just pull it to the side as that's the wrong logo I will not be using that and I'm just going to use the let's use the exalt one yeah that'd be cool right so so you've done that, you've got all the logos set up, and that's obviously many paths, right? So you just want to merge all of them paths, um, um, highlight them all, then click, right click and click connect objects and delete. Then you have one solid path, you just delete the XOP group, and you go onto you drag the path 1.1 to the top, and I'm just going to rename that Exalt AI. Right, so then you want to go to the row below File, Edit and Create and it has these little icons um, and it's the third one across on the last um, little adult group thing and you just want to hold the um, hold your right, uh, hold your left click and go to Extrude NURBS. Then you want to drag your AI file into Extrude NURBS and make it 3D. You want to, then you want to change the movement of the last one to about 100 just to make the thickness look good. Um, once you've done that, it should look quite nice, right? You just right click, you just go on that again, go on to caps and change them both to fill a cap or fill it cap, whichever one you want to say it, and change it to 0, uh, 0 0.5 on each. Um, so there you go. Just refer back to this tutorial if you miss anything. Um, so then I'm just going to change this colour to a nice like scratchy material. Let me just render that out without global illumination on. Let me see if it just goes normal. Nope, that colour does not work. Terrible material pack. Um, okay, I'm just going to shove this one on. See if it works. That's actually quite a nice material. <laughs> but I'm not going to use it. I am going to just grab a nice black. There we go. Okay, so once you've got a nice material that you're ready to use, even though that is ugly, I'm just going to uh, go through it and I'm just going to put that one on quick. Right. So once you've got your material set and all ready, then it looks pretty nice like that. You just want to copy the AI file, which is here under in your extrude nerve. So you just want to click uh, Command C. Command V or Control C, Control C, uh, Control V. Sorry. Then you've got the Exalt um, AI above your um, above all the, all your files and all your um, all your items in your group and in your um, new Cinema 4D file. And then you just want to go to Plugins, Reaper X, drag the Exalt AI into Reaper X, and it has not worked. I'm sorry guys, I will be right back. Sorry about that guys, um, I had a few troubles with the AI file. Um, it's probably best if you use it with a single AI file so it's no, no extra pieces. So I've changed to the Darth one and I've done exactly the same. Same materials, same everything. Okay, so once you've done that, you just want to get your, um, your AI file again and drag it into... Uh, drag it into the Reaper... X plugin and it should make this really ugly looking 
uh, like shape as you can see then on the reaper tab you just want to on the general tab you just want to change that to about two or one uh, it looks really nice on one and two sometimes then you can like flop uh, switch around with the uh, with the distance and probably best on like nine probably about five or five to ten that's probably the best one and then you can change the amount of coils the more coils the more like um, the more like barbed wire it'll look the less coils like the more the more smooth it'll look and the more coil like you know what I mean um, as you can see it looks kind of weird so I'm just going to put it up to about 36 and then ch change the strands to as much as you want so that'll look more and that will look less so that's one that's two and that's three I'm just going to have it at three and I'm going to fill it with a colour which will be blue and that should look okay um, there we go so I've got the I'm just going to render this out for you guys and it will look pretty cool hopefully once it's rendered I'll show you the rest of my uh, style that I do my Cinema 4D style and that should look pretty cool Alright, so that is rendered out fully now, and it looks really nice. Uh, might use it in a background, who knows? But yeah, that's just the basics of the Reaper X, and you can like do more effects with it, and just refer back to this video just to see, um, you know, like uh, what you need to look at, and refer to the tools and stuff that I use. But now I'm just going to grab the extrude nerves. The original one and just copy and paste that then I'm going to move that back a like a tiny bit like about there about there and then go plugins throwsy throwsy and then change the pieces to about a hundred break that so once that one once that's broken which it has for me now it took six seconds because I have a piece of a computer uh, I just wanted to drag that extrude nerves, which is edited, into my nice um, logo setup that I have, uh, which is made by Nova, which is very th very good of him. And I really don't like this random, the random setup. So I'm just going to delete the random, select ex exclude uh, extrude, sorry, and go to MoGraph Effector, then random. As you can see, that is very very messy, but it's kind of a nice effect. So what I do here is just change the cut inside to the same colour as the wires or the thing that I do by pressing Alt and just holding over it. Um, then you can move it back and forward as much as you want, like that, forward, back. I prefer to have it like some bits in front, some bits, some bits behind. So I'm going to have it like that. Then you can go into the extrude nerves here and just find pieces that you want uh, that you want to change colours obviously you'll find some but I'm not going to do that because this is a tutorial and you can do more when you want so I'm just going to render that out and I'll be back as soon as it's done as you can tell this is quite nice you can see the outline of the Darth logo all the bits of the Darth logo are flying everywhere and looks really nice so that's my style uh, I'm just going to render this out with global illumination and take you into Photoshop to see what I do in Photoshop, stuff like that. So I'm just going to save that as Darth Tut. Uh, save that and I will see you in two minutes or a second, whichever. So I'm in Photoshop right now and it is rendered out. I'm just going to open it up and go to render text and go to Darth. Darth Tut, there we go, it looks really nice, I put global illumination on it and it made it look really clean and stuff like that, so um, just put a black background behind it so I can't see any white, and I'm just going to duplicate this twice, drag one below the original layer, this is original, there we go, and I'm just going to change the bottom layer, I'm just going to go filter, liquify, then I'm in this, I'm just going to drag this around, just make it all like, uh, make so it's not and the logo and stuff like that. I'm just going to make it all drag out. Yep, there we go. That looks pretty cool. 
So once you've got that, you just want to make it as abstract as you want, then it's behind it. Then you just want to turn the opacity to about 50, maybe a bit less, about 35, and it makes it look like messy. So you don't have to do this, but I do it sometimes, and I'm just going to go to Filter Gallery, then I'm going to go into Glowing Edges and turn the smoothness of the glowing edges to about 12. It depends on your personal preference. You know, you don't want it at 1 because that just makes it overwhelming. You just want to have it about 13, about about 10 to 15. 10 to 15 will do it. You just want to have an outline of basically everything. You can turn the edge brightness up and down, turn the edge width up and down. You probably want the edge width, edge width on about 1, depending on... Uh, how bright you want it and how like standing out you want the edges and you just basically want to keep it about that so I'm just going to click OK on that and obviously that looks really bad so then I'm just going to click lighten and it goes to the outline I don't really like that so I'm just going to turn the opacity a bit down and it's like that now um, quickly I'm just going to go and go grab a uh, grab one of FX's light rooms because his light and light room is amazing and we'll just wait till that happens so we'll grab the CC and just run it into my tutorial um, file and just click lighten uh, as you can see that really gives it a nice outline and you can just go into layer zero and just change that up a bit I'll probably have it about that at the end of it you can change the colours around so it'll be like two tone, that's two tone, half blue, half pink. Blue, that's nice. Orange, that makes it look really clean, well, quite grungy, sorry. Um, purple, it makes it go pink, but it's still nice. Clean, that's got a um, nice thing on, and black and white, which changes it black and white, obviously. Um, after that, I'm just going to go into that and just make a new layer and then press Alt to make it a a child of that group and I'm just going to make a black brush and just go black around like the bits that I don't want to show up as much like like the like the edges around the logo like this so once you've done that obviously don't you just want to change it to overlay then you want to just put a light room on it and turn the opacity down so you can't see it as much Obviously, that looks kind of nice. I obviously I always have my backgrounds as light as I possibly can, uh, just to make them really nice and clean. I'm just going to go over this in white to make it really bright, and then go over to the dark bits with the brush, like so, like that. So once you've done that, looks really nice. Put it on a background, looks really nice again, and yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial of the Reaper X and my style of a render. It looks really clean and nice and I hope you enjoy it guys. So don't forget to leave a like and comment and peace out. Peace.